I know this is a little weird, but today I want to talk about the distribution panel that I bought. I got the Progressive Dynamic Panel, and what I like is it accommodates AC and DC. So if we take off the main panel, this is where you'd have all your 12 volt breakers. And then this is where you have your main circuits. Um, I've got some other circuits that I haven't installed yet. I got 130 for main, and then I've got um, 420s that I'm gonna put in. I've actually learned a lot. I didn't, I didn't know a lot of this, so I'm learning as I go. But on the back of your panel, it will actually tell you which um, which breakers are suitable for this box. I ended up getting the Siemens, uh, what is that, QP. Um, and then it also nicely tells you what level of wire you can, it'll accept. Um, so there's a lot of good information on the back of these panels that I think people don't read. But if we look internally here, the other thing that I learned is these are called poles. And I didn't know that, and a lot of people maybe do, but your breaker, um, has it's got two little fingers inside of here that slide over those poles and just snap right in there and then that's how you can add you know additional circuits um, what we have here is this is actually the bus bar for the the main power and then um, over here as well is this is the ground for the main power and this is the neutral and then what you do is each breaker has um, a place where you insert the wire. Like in this case, I would insert this wire into this hole and then screw it down. Um, and that's how you make connectivity. And this wire that comes with the box is actually just for a plug that's available on the back of the box. But otherwise you feed all of your wires into these holes and then they come through here. You connect the neutral on the ground and then you take your hot wire and plug it into your circuit. Um, the other thing on the back here is this is the neutral for the 12 volt and here's the hot for the 12 volt. So for example, we've got, what is this? This is our stove puck light. So. I would split this, the red will connect there and then the black will connect there and then we'll label that on the front of the panel. Over here is your power input. It's a nice little box. I mounted mine right on the back of my bench so that I've got great access to it. And um, I just kind of wanted to share that. That was a lot of new information for me. I don't do a lot of electrical. I can change a light bulb and, you know, do a few other things, replace a fixture or a switch, but um, I'm never really dealing with circuits and things like that. So I figured if I'm not, maybe others aren't. So thank you for being here. We'll see you soon.